this is theme park script and to celebrate 25 subscribers we are showcasing all our pop badges so let's get straight in with this pop badge which started it all it's a lego land one with a chef holding a baguette i got that in the old restaurant that used to be in pirate shores before um when it was pirate land pirates landing before it had the re-theme in 2014 and now that restaurant is the pirates burger kitchen i remember it was tipping down and i got loads of these badges and moving along when I went to the Legoland Discovery Centre in Manchester, I've only done that once and that was in 2013, I bought the Activity Pack which comes with two pop badges. This one, because it was Halloween when I went there, it was an exclusive one for Halloween of a vampire. And the next one is a Chima 4D pop badge. I like the screen there and they're coming out the screen and that's really good and moving on to the last 2013 pop badge which is the chessington's christmas i went one day to zoo days for chessington on boxing day and when i ate in the pizza and pasta restaurant i got this badge and i was like well i thought these would be sold out by now and that was really good that's one of my favorites that and the green one are have a very special place in my heart as well as the bubble works one which is not um is coming in a minute and here is next along is the um one i got on the merlin annual pass preview day i got two badges the next one's from that um in the vampire's burger kitchen there's a gorilla with loads of hay all over it this is not a special one from the annual pass preview day if we go up this one this Bubbleworks one is a rare pop badge I found out and it was from the annual pass preview day and that has got a special place in my heart. Ever since the Bubbleworks closed, I've been really upset. It's one of my favourite rides at Chesington, but I've still got this pop badge to remember it. Next along, there's this cute meerkat ugly and the cute toy which is from the Chesington shop, from Chesington with the logo on. I like these animal ones from Chesington. It, does, it gives the park a little bit of a... Um, sense of adventure with just animals on their badges the next one is one of my favorites it's the chesington azteca hotel pop badge so i got this once it's just the logo for the azteca hotel really good that was a new hotel back in 2014 but it's crazy to think that they've got glamping now two years later and the next pop badge is a very special one with the chesington logo on it and the vampire in action the streets behind it that's one of my favorites and i don't want to talk along about that one because i've still got some special ones this one the legoland crocodile i got that in the city walk pizza and pasta when i was waiting for the chima firework spectacular back in 2014 and then up is um a pop badge from Brickle Treat back in 2014. It's a glow in the dark scarecrow pop badge. This is where you found all the birds across the park for that pop badge. And moving along, we have the glow in the dark pumpkin pop badge from Legoland's Brickle Treat. When you added Hunt for the Pumpkin, which had the letter and the word. I'm trying to remember, I think it was skeleton was the word you needed to decode. And the next one along is the Windy Day pop badge. Um, that's for doing the four rides in the dark back in 2014. And the next one is actually from 2015 when I went to Legoland. And this is the firefighter, probably for um, Lego City getting rebranded that year. And that was in the Hilltop Cafe. I hope you enjoyed this part and this will be continued in part two. Bye.